What's going on and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna look at some Tesla features that you may have not known about. If there are other features that you feel that people may have not known, make sure you're gonna leave that down in the comment section below to help out the whole Tesla community here. So the first feature that I wanna highlight here will be on the front of your car. This is the tow hitch. If somebody is gonna pull your car, it's right here. But did you know in order to get into the front, there is an emergency emergency way that you can get in you just press this firmly and it's going to pop open there we go and now you have two wires so with these two wires right here if you want to get into the front you will take the red wire for positive negative wire and you will connect that in order to pop it now some people think that you can take this and hold it and it will pop the front there is no power here so you don't have to worry about like getting shocked or electrocuted if you have a child or somebody that actually gets stuck inside of your front i'm not sure why they would get stuck in but if your child would eventually get inside of your front or so happen should i say get inside of your front and close the front in order to get out of your front push the button right here and you have an emergency release if you press that and also this glows in the dark so i was talking to someone the other day and they were not aware that your phone with your voice command can actually control your car so you don't have to go into the app or download a third party app you can talk right to your phone i have an iphone right now so i'm going to talk to siri and i'm going to hold the phone up so you can see exactly what's happening hey siri blow the horn on my car yes and there you go you can do things like flash the lights lock unlock the doors and minor things now all features are not covered but you do have some cool things that you can say right to the phone that can control your car. So just say that you're at a third party charge station and you put the charger inside of your car and whenever it's time to take it out, whenever you're trying to get it out, it gets stuck. It happens from time to time, not often. So the thing is, what we're gonna do is open up our trunk and right behind the charger in your trunk, you see it's like a triangle little cutout here. If you reach in there, you have a cord and from there you will pull that and that will manually release your charge port. We already know that Tesla has an exterior speaker that you can play things. But the thing is, whenever you just say if you're out at the park or you're washing your car and you close the door, the music will stop. But if you're outside and you want it to continue, in order to make that happen, we're going to go over to the toy box and we are going to stroll over to where it says boom box. And from boom box, we're going to click where it says play current media. And if you can hear it now, no one is in the car, but the car media is playing. I don't have music going for copyright strike reasons, but listen, maybe you can hear Dusty Porter talking. Now I always get asked, whenever I'm doing my recordings, how do I get my car to always show Rainbow Road whenever I'm driving? First, you want to go down to your toy box here. You're going to go all the way over to where it says Rainbow Road. You're going to click there and there's a toggle switch here that says Always Rainbows. Make sure that's blue. So anytime that you go into autopilot on your car, it's always going to show Rainbow Road. Say that you're driving on autopilot, see that that Rainbow Road and you want to slow down because you're going over the speed limit like we are. The only thing you have to do is press the speed limit sign and the car will automatically decrease speed and that way you don't have to put your foot on the brake. Whenever having your car towed, Tesla recommends that it's flat, that you shouldn't have two wheels off the ground, two wheels on the ground, or even being pulled behind. Because whenever your car wheels are moving, it's generating the battery, it can cause damage, it will create extra heat. So Tesla has a transport mode. We're gonna click on the car icon here. Now we're gonna go down to service. And from service, we're going to go where it says towing. As you can see, pulling it, like I said, they don't recommend this they do recommend that your car is flat now in order to put your car in the tow mode put our foot on the brake now it says transport mode once i click on there now 
the car is actually rolling if you can see whoa there's a website called a better theater.com and i'm leaving it right here on the screen right now and once you get there you can have access to so many more things on your tesla and it works seamless so like you have youtube tv hbo max which is different paramount and you can see everything here on the screen and also you have games so you click up here on the games and the thing is whenever like jesse or anyone else is in the front seat they can play the games even while I'm driving. And music, you have access to more music options, even Tidal, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music. There is an expansion of what you can do on your Tesla, and this is always a favorite here, because now, like some people like Waze over any other GPS application, you can run Waze right from your car, and it can also not be full screen so if you want to still see your tesla display over here that's an option now the type of tires that you have on your car it will affect the range now these are the regular gemini wheels i was able to go on and put some wheel covers which i am getting increased range for and i'm going to leave the link for these and some other accessories down in the description box below because if you use the promo code just frugal me at checkout you get 15 percent off of any accessory these are from ev base and they do increase the range on my car you want to get the display on your car to show accurately of the tires that you put on side of your car we're going to hit the car menu and from here we're going to go down to where it says service and from service we're going to go to wheel and tire so right now we have the wheels i still have the gemini wheels i'm not going to upgrade it to just say the induction or the uber turbine wheels however if you have tires you can do things like your winter tires or if you have all season or summer any change that you make here it will update in the system to try to give you the most accurate reading to make sure that or range is accurate as possible now your tesla is a big computer on wheels and like any other computer every once in a while you may have a glitch here and there i don't really have many glitches in my car however if you need to do a soft reboot like any other computer any other phone this is how you would do a soft reboot you're going to press down your left and right stroll wheels at the same time here and i'm going to do that and after you do that it's going to pretty much reboot. It takes about a minute. Right now, the Tesla logo should be coming back up any minute now. And with this, like this will come in handy, just say if the Wi-Fi is not connecting, if it's a little glitch here and there. Whenever you do a soft reboot, a lot of times the issue is resolved. Using your emergency brake on your car is important, especially if you're on a hill because you don't want your car to roll off because there's been many instances, even here in my neighborhood, where a car rolled down a hill and like knocked down a light pole. And here's a shortcut on how you can use your emergency brake in your Tesla without going through the entire menu on the touchscreen. So on your drive stock or your gift shifter, whatever you call it, you're just gonna hold the P down about for a second and as you can see right there, it's telling me now the emergency brake is applied. And the cool thing with a Tesla is they leave so much room for a lot of accessories that you can add into the car. It's like the car is built for accessories. And even above me right here, I have a sunscreen that will block the heat especially that we're going through like a heat wave right now on those hot days and it blends in with the car you can't even really tell that it's there so it is so nice and it's from ev base and i show you more accessories for your car right over there on your screen and you can get 15 percent off of any accessory check it out over there in the other video all things related to tesla and your finances and i will see you in the next video